Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the, ha, huh? <laughs> welcome back to another millennial movie. Not a member request, not Monday, but it is a Friday on my channel. Hello, I'm Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time, give you a preview review, what I think the movie's gonna be about. We watch it, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did I stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? So today, if you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, I'm watching the 1995, it's a year younger than me, the film While You Were Sleeping. Now, this movie came with, once again, as most films set in December come with, it is a Christmas movie. It's not a Christmas movie. Vibe on Patreon. So, a lot of people said it wasn't a Christmas movie. I don't know anything about it. So, while you were sleeping, it sounds like it could either be the beginning of a really great horror film, right? Or, while you were sleeping, you know, Santa... He sees you when you're sleeping. So, so far, just from the title, it sounds like it could be a Christmas movie. I used to look up movie posters when I didn't know anything about a film. And I stopped doing that during this year's Halloween. And I think it's going to be something that I continue moving forward with. Because sometimes I would look up a movie poster hoping for a clue and it would give away an amazing cast or something like that. So, I think... We're just going to raw dog it. We're going in head first. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's movie. OMG, it's the last upload of 2023. I should have planned something. I should have planned something. But that ain't me. That's not my personality. So I don't have anything planned. I'm so excited that you're here with me on the last upload of 2023. Let's get right into it. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right into the 1995 While You Were Sleeping. Bullock, love her, so excited. Bill Pullman, I haven't seen him in a hot second. Wrigley Field, Chicago. Still have never been to Chicago. A whole pickle on a hot dog? I gotta try that. I don't know what that's called, but I wanna put a pickle on a hot dog now. Okay, there are two things that I remember about my childhood. What are they? It doesn't always turn out the way you plan. I just wish I'd realized at the time he was talking about my life. Oh, well. Exciting destinations like Milwaukee. Never been to Milwaukee. He would take me to the church where they got married and I'd... Is this movie gonna make me cry? She gave me the world. She gave me you. Actually, it was a globe with a light. Oh, it was an actual globe. Oh, I thought he was gonna say, you know, Lucy's my world. He didn't exactly give me the world. It was a $1.50. Uh, that guy looked familiar, but that's not Bill Pullman. I know that someday I will find a way to introduce myself and... He looks so familiar, but I don't think that's Bill Pullman. Also, I need these production houses to stop making Sandra Bullock try to look homely. She's beautiful. <gasps> look at that cat. That's a beautiful cat. Fire we had when Joe Jr. barbecued in a stairwell. I missed that one. Oh, great sauce. <laughs> well, at least the food was good. Say hello. Hello, Luce. It's not supposed to be a crop top, but I see some midriff in there. Nice, uh... Sweater. Sweater. There you go. That's how you compliment a woman. Joe Jr. is still single. He can stay that way. Mustard. Coke. Lucy! That's also what I put on my hot dogs. I'm a mustard gal. No ketchup for me. Supervisor Jerry Wallace nominates Lucy Moderance for Employee of the Month. Good job, girlfriend! I'm not working Christmas. Uh... No longer employee of the month. But Lucy, you're the only one. Without family. Oh, this is gonna make me cry. It's gonna make me cry. I feel it and I know it. Those little loose things of tinsel, who actually does that? What a mess. So, is that just an above ground subway? I guess a train. Is that just a train that goes through the city? Hey. Yeah, girl. It's your guy, it's your dude. And there went your chance. I love you. <laughs> this 
good. Nice drop. Oh! What happened? What happens if you fall on the tracks? What happens? Oh God, sir, this is not good. Um, um, oh, God. oh, so he just hit his head. I thought maybe he was like electrocuted or something like Subway. Can you wake up? Can you hear me? Um. Oh, no. Wow, good job. That was too close for me. Oh, he really took a bump to the noggin. He really did. I need to know his name. He's right, he's right. You don't know his name? Yeah, right. Why don't you? Just say you were the one that saved him. Oh, I was gonna marry him. Oh, that lady thought for real. She's like, I was gonna marry him. In her dreams. Excuse me. Is that the woman that saved his life? It is. Whoa. Gets even better than that. She's his fiance. Well, kind of, sort of, not really. She want to be real bad, though. He'll be all right, right? What right? happened? What's going on? Hey, that guy was in a lot of stuff, too. A sitcom, maybe? Who's she? She's his fiance. His fiance? Oh, no. Now, all of a sudden, she's adopted into a family. She's got a little heart problem. Her, she's had three attacks already. Three heart attacks? It's supposed to be family only. She is family. Aww. <laughs> I'm so glad he found you. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, it's an emotional moment. Your son almost died, and now you think he's engaged. It's a big, big thing's happening. Well, next time you talk to yourself, tell yourself you're single and end the conversation. Yeah, and also just keep it inside. Inside thoughts. I think you saved your life. In fact, I think you saved the whole family. No pressure, girl. Now you can just never tell the truth. Y'all want to talk about something, or are we just going to stare a whole bunch? Uh, what about that other girl? What's her name? The one he met in the bar? Why are we talking about another girl right now? Ashley Bartlett Bacon. She was pretty high and mighty for someone named after breakfast meat. It's the best kind of breakfast meat. It was his, uh, smile. They're caps. 600 bucks a- Why well, you ain't gonna out him like that. He, uh, smiled. And... And got on his train and we never spoke. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. What? I got ice capades. I know a guy. No thanks. No thank you. I was gonna say good for her for going to see him every day, but then I keep reminding myself that they really aren't engaged, and she really is just a stranger who saved his life, so maybe it is kind of weird. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here in the middle of the night. I was, that's for sure. Think you should know your family thinks we're engaged. And I didn't correct them. I, I don't know what to do. Because it's too late to tell the truth. Not, you know, not that I'm complaining or anything, because, you know, I have, I, have a, I have a cat. Hey, and cats are great. Sole possession of the remote control. That's very, that is very important. The Republic is so beautiful. Just dump the perfect model that they were with and, and realize that you were the one that they wanted to just grow old. Like all the wonderful Hallmark Christmas movies. Have you ever been so long you spend the night confusing a man in a coma? <laughs> <laughs> OMG, did he just hear all that? Did he just hear the truth from her? Oh, Andrew Lynch, SG you gonna be late for work, girl. Oh, yeah. Lucy! Oh, jeez Louise. You like me, I could always sleep anywhere. <laughs> Same. And believe me, she had. <laughs> we didn't get to uh, celebrate Christmas, so uh, it would be nice if you could join us. Oh, Christmas has passed? Jack's gonna be there. That's right, you haven't met Jack yet. Who's Jack? And here's another card for when you change your mind. <laughs> uh, we're in the estate furniture business. We buy furniture from dead... Oh, well, that's good for y'all. I'm sorry, Mrs. Callahan. These are your husband's uh, things. Not my husband! Oh, oh. Your fiancé. But also not that. I have to go now. Oh, he, he's a great guy. He's had a tough year. Well, cl well, clearly. We're playing basketball, all right? I carry a pencil. I'm a lawyer. I do that. Lawyers do. Okay. <sighs> well, but hold on. I want to hear more about this accident and the pencil. Happy, they won't care that you lied to them. They'll probably even thank you. I agree with that guy, actually. When my mother found out I was getting married to my wife, her intestines exploded. Oh, my God. Aw, oh, share a dinner with the little kitty cats. Been there. 
That's okay. The cat hasn't drank out of it yet. It's still sanitary. Wow! They got some money. Lucy. Hi. So hi. You made it, huh? Yeah. Can't back out now. Research. Mm -hmm. A medical term for very expensive, huh? True. My wife of 51 years passed away two years ago, February the 9th. I'm gonna cry in this one. I'd never let anyone hurt them. Okay, well that's weird to say. She's not trying to hurt them. Elsie made her eggnog. Oh, not her eggnog. By the way, eggnog is gross. So everybody's family just had one of those light up Santas like that. Is that a universal experience we all share? Lucy, come, come on, on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and here's the year that this random woman claimed to be my fiance. Oh, excuse me. I don't drink anymore. Oh, I, I don't drink any less. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I gotta remember that one. That's okay. Yeah, what, is what is this? Open it. <laughs> eggnog. I don't understand the appeal of eggnog. Oh, wow. To Lucy yeah. from Santa. <gasps> to Lucy from Santa. This is so nice. Shut up. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Look, oh, stop, I'm gonna cry. She even has her own stocking at the house now. Oh, well, y'all just gotta get married. You have to. I have been doing a lot of thinking and what the heck, I will marry you. Oh no. Oh no. There's Bill Pullman. So who's the other guy? I wonder if he looks so familiar. No, that's not Peter's fiance. You have some matter? Oh, here we go. You know what, kid? Maybe I'll stay the night. Sandra Bullock has a scar on her eye. I've never seen that before. Another thing that I'm convinced is <laughs> 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 Another thing that I'm convinced is not real is that newspaper boys. Good morning. <laughs> Ooh. You really thought you go sneak out, girl. I guess I don't remember meeting you. Well, it's probably because we've never met. Okay, you know what? Bill Pullman's a little cutie. Hmm. Welcome to the family. Okay, I'm a big fan of Bill Pullman today. Big fan. Oh, is this a Catholic church? I've never been in a Catholic church. Hemmelstein's took too long. Yeah, for Christ's sake, Jack. Hey, you can't use the Lord's name in vain in the church. Kelly get to be elected. He takes marijuana. Amen. He takes the devil's lettuce? Goodness. You mean to tell me you have that man's stuff who you are not married to, you stayed at his family's house, but did not leave his things at his family's house? Who keeps pictures of themselves in their wallet? What is that? Was that a can of tuna? What was it? Live here. I own this place. Oh, I'm sure you do know her i'm dating her no get out i can't with that guy is this his apartment look at that couch oh i love that couch that view how much do we think it would go for today rich kitty oh it was cat food rich kitty that's hilarious this is hilarious Not the cat, but found him. I'll get you some ice. OMG Baskin Robbins. I love Baskin Robbins. Peter doesn't have a cat. Peter has a cat. Oh. Hello. Look at that baby. A little Persian cat. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna let the machine get it. Oh, no. It's gonna be the girlfriend. It's for you. Is it? How? Friends and family, they come down and give blood. Let's go together. I was gonna say, so I guess y'all better get going, huh? Yeah. All these old ass cars. They're not even the cute ones from the 50s. Three months, that's quick. You have no idea. You were supposed to sip that. I got it. Ooh. Well, she told y'all you was gonna get woozy. Puff the magic dragon. 
That's hilarious. Favorite ice cream? Baskin Robbins. Okay, but flavor of ice cream. Mr. Joe Fusco Jr. He said that you were intimate. And I can't believe that you saw him and believed him. You know, if she wanted to prove it, she'd prove it. Well, now you gotta prove it. Peter has one testicle. That's a big thing to say. And he was playing basketball and his friend had a pencil. Pencil lawyer man. Ew. Oh. <sighs> Who's gonna check her? Who's gonna fact check? Okay, I'm his mother. Yep, mama's got it. Y'all are just learning so much about Peter. He has a cat, he's got one ball. He's got more room in his jockey shorts. Grandma, shut up. Who is it? Fuck you. Yeah. Mm. Don't answer the door. Say you're not at home. He strikes me as somebody who believed that. I never said I would go on a date with you. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, no, she didn't. Not a word. Nice panties. Oh my God, you can't just say that. Hey. You have your panties in your hand still. I would die of embarrassment. Well, the night you visited Peter, I was outside the door. I know the truth. Oh no. Well, since they met you, they figure they have Peter back. Aww, you can't steal their hope like that. By the way, how did you know about the Peter with the one, uh... Ball. You know something? I don't want to know. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta let the sleeping dogs lie. What are you doing? I slipped. Draw them on. Anybody use a phone anymore? I do. I'm not talking about 900 numbers. I don't get it. What's a 900 number? So, more questions? No, I have an engagement present. Hmm. Can't wait to see it. What's that? Cat. Cat! Quick thinking. Ready for your surprise? I can't wait to see this. Ta -da. A chair! Too bad. I exploited the love seat. <laughs> oh. A love seat that's green. Callahan and Sons, and then when Peter went off to law school, it became Callahan and Son. Oh. If I were to leave, it'd just be Callahan. Oh, sad. This technique. <laughs> it's always very. Very effective. You're doing great. Good job. You don't know her? No. Oh, girl. They told me about her, sir. She's scary. Scary? What is this Ashley person like? And also, how does she spell it? You know, the people who spell Ashley the long, complicated way are just the worst. Oh, oh my God! Why is the water blue? I think the sofa should go right there. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a great plan. That's smart. Good night. You just gonna leave me here with the truck? I was gonna say, you're not just gonna stay with him all night? I don't wanna be here by myself. This is Chicago. Ah! This jacket's reversible. I'm wearing the warm side now. Oh, I see. Ah, good. <laughs> this is my dad's. Oh, and he's probably freezing. He passed away. Wow! That's a really funny joke. He's a lot like me. Dark hair, flat chest. <laughs> <laughs> Are they making out? Get into it. There were one place in the world where you'd go. Where? Florence. I thought she said Florida. Yes, I do. With you? Yes, well, just in case I need to quickly leave the country. That's smart. That's big smart. Hey, you're not very photogenic at all. <laughs> Boom, roasted. That'll make your dad very proud. Yeah. You know what? They are an attractive couple together. They look good together. It's slippery here. Okay. Come on. Got this. Aw, they're being so sweet. They're so sweet. I cannot wait to meet the old girlfriend. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Y'all better be careful. That's how y'all make a baby. <laughs> oh, Ooh, if you kiss him, how are you going to explain it? Oh. 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 What was that? <laughs> you ripped your britches. That's hilarious. <laughs> you have an extra pair of pants in your apartment? If you fit into my pants, I will kill myself. <laughs> I'll wait till you get inside. <laughs> well, good night. But it's cold and you got a hole in your britches. Why don't you go on up? What's he supposed to do? Walk all the way back to his truck? All right, Lucy, it's either me or him. Him. Easy. You won't have to answer right away. <laughs> 
See, you gonna make that man walk all the way back to his truck in the middle of the night with a hole in his britches? I'm having an affair. I like Jack. Who's Jack? Peter's brother. You're having an, a fake affair on your fake fiance. Tell the truth. If I tell Jack that I lied to his family, he will never speak to me again. Okay, but then maybe Jack won't feel so bad about having, like, feelings for you. He obviously has feelings for you, too. Pull the plug. You are sick. Pull the plug on Peter or on the lie? <laughs> well, that's one way to win every game. I was starting to get really good at poker and uh, going home with lots of lunch money. Y'all played poker in fifth grade? And I was never envious of anything that you had. Until now. Until now. Call it. High card gets Lucy. Ooh, fun. All right. We'll go best out of three. Ah, uh, loss. Lose a card game to a man in a coma? Embarrassing. Ricky Ricardo was Cuban. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. You think you can find me a nice girl for Jack? Oh, my. Just look in the mirror, Lucy. I could never make a good pot roast. You need good beef. <laughs> well, what did you say? I said Cesar Romero was tall. We all know. <laughs> what a great conversation is happening right now. Bye. Bye-bye, Lucy. Bye-bye. Good -bye. Bye. night. Hey, look, you guys. You're under the mistletoe. Oh. Oh. Kiss her, then. Yeah. It's mistletoe. It's tradition. It's Christmas. Y'all support a brother kissing his assumed fiance? Y'all support that? Uh, oh, yeah. Bye. That's awkward. I'm so ready to meet Peter's actual girlfriend. I'm so ready to meet her. Lucy's going to marry my brother, Peter. Oh. The more people who find out, the stickier this gets. Girl, are you pregnant? Yes, I'm pregnant, Celeste. Oh, no. Oh, the drama, the, the, the secrets get worse. Celeste, you have to have sex in order to be pregnant. But I thought you were engaged. They're waiting till marriage. The good Christian couple. I'd like to hear from you, and I'd like to see my cat. <sighs> it's her cat. How much did Baskin Robbins pay for this product placement? Go. Hey, everybody. Lucy's pregnant. Oh, the lies get worse. The lies get worse. Ta -da! Oh. I th wow. I can't accept them. Oh, that's sad. You can move in here. I bet your papa knocked 50 bucks off the rent. That's a hell of a deal, a husband and six, 50 bucks off the rent? <laughs> How do I look at him? Like you just seen your first Trans Am. Sure, that's a universal thing. Wow, what a convoluted story that she lives in to everyone. So is um everything okay? Why? Why wouldn't it be okay? Because you're being weird. Peter is going to have a lot to deal with when he wakes up. Yeah, you don't even know the half of it. The true half of it. Uh, who's Jack again? Peter's brother. The affair one. No, Peter. Peter doesn't even know you ex Exactly. So Jack is Peter. Yeah. Lucy. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about, Lucy? I mean, she did bring up Ricky Ricardo earlier. Why not? Because it's not good for the baby. <gasps> and now everyone at the party heard that. Now what's your junior thing? The leaning thing. Huh? Oh, from the flowers earlier. How are you leaning yeah. is a lot different than hugging. Hugging's very different. Oh, he was reading into it. Leaning is whole bodies moving in like this. Like that. Wanting and accepting. I'm having some feelings for Bill Pullman today. Are you sure? Because it looks like he's leaning. Oh, he's leaning. Let him lean. Let him lean. I need this in my life today. I know karate. Okay, okay, Joe. So the only reason your brother would want to marry someone like me is if I was pregnant, right? How did you come up with that, Lucy? How did you come up with that? What a crazy... Oh, my goodness. Sometimes us women are just crazy. Don't you? Is this just like another miscommunication hey. that we are having here? What do you know about my family? And what do you know about miscommunications, girl? Would your father be happy knowing you're sitting in a token booth planning vacations that you aren't taking? <gasps> That's rude. But you have no idea what it's like to be alone. Me, hey, you have Peter. Okay, even if they were really engaged, he's actually in a coma. So no, she doesn't have Peter. You're supposed to have a kiss on New Year's. <gasps> Howdy. 
Hey, you've been out for a second, buddy. We have a lot to tell you. Boy, will he be glad to see you. Yeah. I think he'll be surprised to see her. Oh, she's big happy. Look at that tear. She's so happy. Believable, girl. He's got amnesia. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Selective amnesia. Yeah. That's for real. That's for sure. I was never pregnant. Huh? We know. Jack told us. Jack told them that you're not pregnant? That's nice. I'm too old a friend and too old a person for them to kill. Good idea. Okay. And I'll do it right now. Okay. Come on. Let's, right behind you. What? Should I? That man got some big eyebrows. You don't remember, do you? Excuse me. Got some jello for you today. Oh, hell yeah, jello. I think you look wonderful. Now, why didn't he handle it like you said he was going to? A, B, C, D, e, F. Oh, he's like making sure he's not totally full of amnesia. Isn't it crazy that we still don't know so much about the brain? Wild. Starting tomorrow, uh, things are probably gonna be kind of different. Why tomorrow specifically? Good friend. Mmm. Friend zoned hard there. Bye. Bye. Somebody has to talk me out of getting my hair cut like hers. Picture it. Some wispy bangs right here covering up my five head. I think it'd be cute. Hey, Pop. Fresh us some donuts. And Dunkin' Donuts? A lot of name brand things in this movie. In that one minute, you have peace. And it's over like that. You remember that rocking chair I made for Grandma? Bill Pullman has brown in his blue eyes. Oh, what? that's very cool. That's a good side business. It's not a side business. This is good business. Oh, he's breaking his dad's heart. How long have you felt this way? Long time. Well, why is it okay for Peter to do it, but not him? I could have sold the whole damn thing to Uncle Eddie for twice its value. Oh. I could have taken your mother on the cruise with Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee? Damn. Oh, and I thought he was upset. He's not upset. Her dining room alone has got to be worth 40 grand. 40 grand? We'll call them next week. You'll call them next week. That's right. I'll call them next week. Wow, what an understanding father. You love her. You just don't know it yet. You sure so? Yeah, yeah, sure. See you, son. See you, dad. I can't wait to see how this man breaks it to him. But Peter, you're a putz. Oh, why? But the fact of the matter is you, you, well, you're a putz. Can you elaborate on that more? Why? You see, she, well. You got it. You can explain it. You're doing great. She's not only your fiance, she's your guardian angel. I can support the guardian angel part, but not the other one. You will propose to her for the second time and marry her before she has a chance to escape. That's one way to put it. If I was 40 years younger, I'd marry her myself. Oh, get it to her, Grandpa. Lucy. Hi. Hi. Why didn't you just leave that stuff at his apartment? I like your, um, blue pinstripe. Double-breasted? Yeah. No, that's my favorite, too. Really? Yeah. Well, this is a great conversation, but weird that you would point that out since you have never actually talked. Yeah, I guess we... We don't get to do many heroic things as an adult. Uh, you saved his life, girl. But that's not heroic. It is to the person who sits in it. She really paid attention to him. You know, you do remind me of someone. It's probably you. <laughs> yeah, because of your amnesia. Ashley Bartlett Bacon. I am Peter's fiance. Oh, she's a peach. Yeah, I brought you some contraband. <gasps> Ice cream. We're engaged, you know. Well, kind of, sort of. Even this chocolate peanut butter tastes better. Good. It's fudge mint. What? Well, those don't taste the same. First, I knocked them out of their nest with a rock. What? Then I saved them. Ugh. I, yeah, Ugh. What is she? She's... Well, not your fiance. Likeable. No, that's not it. You don't know Lucy like that, Peter. Shut up. We can see way up his thigh in that robe. Does this make any sense? Not really, but that's common after a head injury. 
gonna handle this? Oh, handle it? This is handling it? This is handling it. So? Listen, what? You're fired. Yeah, you're not good at this whole handling it thing. <gasps> she just opened the door for the girlfriend she doesn't even know! Ow! <gasps> I'm so ready for this part to come to a head. Two, please. Four, please. There's people in elevators that push the buttons for you? Why? Or maybe he's just another passenger and he was just the closest one. Ashley. Scumbag. Oh, what a greeting. No, no. I was confused. We stepped back. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy who? Oh, the T, sis. I know. If I was the other guy in that room. Then I want my stuff back. What stuff? Your nose. Hilarious. I paid for it. Well, then here. You paid for these, too. I know! Ah! The tea is piping hot. Go ahead and marry her, you one bald bastard. One bald bastard. Holy buckets, Peter. Moving on to greener pastures. Clearly. Facing death makes a man evaluate his life. I'm sure it does. An apartment on the Rue de Faubourg, Saint-Honoré. Were those words? Paris. Paris? Took a coma to wake me up. But I'm I might as well love you. Well, that doesn't feel good. Will you marry me? Me. Me. Yeah, it's called Paris Guy. It's from Ooh. France. Hi. How you doing? I love that. She is the best looking chick in this building. Hey. Oh, you in trouble. I am not wearing black underwear, and I definitely do not want to move in with you, Joe. <laughs> Not Joe. Well, I don't have any flowers. I wouldn't mind seeing the black underwear, but under the circumstances. Mm. Do you want to come in? Yeah. yeah. You want to see her fashion show, apparently? Wow. So that's uh. the wedding dress, huh? Hmm? The wedding dress. Oh, Lord, I hope it's not the wedding dress. Snow globe. Florence. A Florence! I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other then. <laughs> it's gonna be weird at the family dinner table. You can't just leave the door open, Jack. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't marry your brother? Because I love you. I can't. Well, that wasn't a good answer. What's this? It's a wedding invitation. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, she's for real getting married now. I, I work every holiday. I go home to a cat. Ain't nothing wrong with coming to home to a cat. That I would finally have a stamp in my passport, and then it would say Italy on it. Big feelings, girlfriend. He didn't want me. Him did want you, but him thinks you're engaged to his brother. Well, now you are for real, but you know what I mean. What is that camera? That's a crazy camera. Would well, you get the rings? Yeah, I got the rings. Y'all gotta consummate this marriage in the hospital? I suck. Well, the outfit sucks. It's a toss-up. <laughs> it's a look. It's a look. Yeah, start over. Three, two, one. Does this does this kind of thing happen at hospitals enough to have this kind of chapel? Okay, big fan of Bill Pullman. Look at him. Oh my God, I love Bill Pullman now. He could get it. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join- I object. To your own wedding? I didn't get to that part. <laughs> I would have to object to. Is now really the time you want to be honest about it? I am in love with your son. That one. I know. Lordy B. Um, Elsie, how you doing? You doing okay? You need some nitroglycerin? told the doctor that I was his fiance. only, um... I'm not. Why didn't you say something? Well, cause she carried it on so long! I couldn't tell you the truth, and then I didn't want to tell you the truth because... She finally had a family. I fell in love with you. You fell in love with me? Well, no, the family as a whole. You allowed me to be a part of your family, and I haven't had that in a really long time. So even though it was just for a little while, I will love them always. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, um, and I'm very sorry about your carpet. 
Oh, he hasn't even seen it. I object to this wedding. Girl, you're late. And I object to your objection. Who's that? Ashley's husband. What? Ashley was married the whole time? Well, this was not how this needed to be fixed, I'll tell you that. Grandma up there taking pictures. That's such a cute little kitty, a little long-haired calico baby. Oh. Hey, Lou. Oh, was hoping it was Jack. You know, don't start eating cookies and cake and stuff like that. Let her cope how she wants to cope. Third floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get your heart broken? Joe. Oh. You know what? We can try some of my shoes. Okay. Yeah, we could play some dress up, Joe. Hey, last day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's getting a different job? Quitting this one at least. Excuse me? Excuse me? You see? Ah! I need to ask you a question. Do it! Do it! Can I come in there, please? You gotta pay a token. Not without a token. Got it! Oh, he's doing the lean! He's doing the lean! Oh, wow, that's so... Oh, wow! He's doing the lean! In for the kiss! <laughs> wow! What a crazy story! And if they have kids, what a crazy story! Mom, how did you and Daddy meet? Well, I was actually fake engaged to your Uncle Peter. So, I had planned to marry Peter, but... I married Jack instead. On the L train. Jack gave me the perfect gift. A stamp in my passport. She went to Florence! Peter once asked me when it was that I fell in love with Jack. And I told him. It was while you were sleeping. <gasps> while you were sleeping! All right, well, let's talk about it. Why did I forget the title of this movie? I was so surprised. Also, I love that that was, I love that the title line was the last line. Okay, so I can see where y'all told me it is or it is not a Christmas movie. It took place the entire time at Christmas slash New Year's, right? But anybody can fall on a train track at any time during the year. So I'm going to say it is not a Christmas movie because this could have happened at Easter. He could have fell on the track at July 4th. You know what I mean? So it's not a Christmas movie, in my opinion, but I did love it. Oh, listen to me when I tell you, I don't know what this, this awakening was for me about Bill Pullman today, but I got some feelings for Bill Pullman today. That's all I know about that. I got some big feelings for him today. Uh, love Sandra Bullock and everything I've ever seen her in. Uh, Practical Magic was a great movie with her in it. Uh, she is just beautiful. I love her. Five out of five stars for Sandra Bullock. Five out of five stars for Bill Pullman. You know what? It, this was such a cute little story. And then... This was just such a cute little story. I love... Now... My demographic on YouTube is mostly male. And so I can already feel some of the rom-com hate coming. And that's okay. That's okay. Because rom-coms are not for everybody, right? And sometimes I think it's a little cheesy too. This is what I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I don't know why. I don't know what makes this one different from from other rom-coms for some reason. It gave me a very much like a, a When Harry Met Sally. That kind of vibe. It was fun. I liked it. It was a very, to me, it felt like a unique concept, you know? Like, being caught in this lie. Like, how it all happened felt like a unique concept. But, of course, you're going to fall for the younger, rugged brother, right? I love that Ashley... <laughs> Bacon. Come on now. Hey. Hey. Some, you know, who was it that said, you know... You share, you you have the same name as a breakfast food. Okay, but look at Kevin Bacon. He's doing great. He don't care. Anyways, While You Were Sleeping is so cute. I big loved it. I would watch it again tomorrow. This is so cute. It's funny. Crazy funny. The plot gets thicker and then it's like, I'm pregnant. And then, of course, that runs wild. It was cute. Five out of five stars. Because it was just as much funny as it was butterfly-y. But not a Christmas movie, but still glad I watched it. So, 
Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. As we go into the new year, we are having some changes on the channel. Nothing bad. Just, um, well, I guess you'll just have to like and subscribe to see. So, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you back here in 2024. Anyways, bye.